Hey Cancer, welcome to um, your weekly Love Connections reading, WLC. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your Love Connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, you can check out the description box below or visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. If you need information about the tarot decks that I'm using, you can follow me on Instagram. I do have um, videos there for deck uh, flip-throughs. All right. To all my new viewers, welcome. Cancer, now on to you. Let's get on with your reading. <laughs> I hope everyone is um, doing well, staying well. What do we have for Cancer in Love? What do we have for Cancer in Love? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Love. That's the devil. The five of wands. What is this? Page of swords. The knight of wands. Hmm. The empress. We have the judgment, cancer, okay? The three of swords. Wow, there's a lot of messages I'm getting right now. Let me see. Nine of cups. The nine of wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of messages I am getting, and it's pretty specific. Okay, the first, uh, the very first one, Cancer, is that this is a connection where you are in a so-called more than two. Yeah. more than two that means this is a three party or more yeah this is a three party or more but it's not to say that um you are for, for some of you this could very well apply to those of you who are open for open relationships and um you know uh multiple like uh connections yeah that you are open for it you're not against it or you are you're, you're comfortable with that yeah, that's the way I see it. And um, for some, you may even be connecting with, are you connected with someone who is open for that? And you didn't know that they were into it until recently. Yeah. And it pretty much opened your mind, <laughs> Cancer, that, um, yeah, why not? Why? Give it a try. So it feels like um, you were introduced into that uh um, type of connection which is pretty new for you yeah which is pretty new for you and it feels like in that group in that uh, connections multi-connections that possibly you feel rather very accepted very um, you're comfortable especially these people that you are meeting, the new people that you're meeting on or with, um, they appreciate you, your beauty, your grace, something like that. So that, that's one message I see, okay? And it feels like it's interesting because it's new for you and you're kind of opening up to that. So that's the way, that, that's one message. Now, next Another message I'm getting is that, um, well, okay, just to um, follow through with that first message, I feel that since this is a new thing, um, there could be some um, aspects in there in that type of um, um, 
dynamics where you are not very familiar with. So there could be a little bit of conflicts here and there, but nothing major. You can still you can still fix that up. You can still talk things out. It's like your um, initiation, so to speak, in that um, open type of relationship, especially if you're the one who has been in a so-called monogamous uh, relationship. So this is pretty new for you. Okay, that, that's for that message. Now, moving on. If you are dealing with one person, yeah, I feel, Cancer, that <clears throat> you, you've waited for this person to, um, you've waited for this person to at least give you what is due or to give you what you think is rightful in this connection. It could be effort, it could be their time, it could be them just um, doing their um, partner responsibility for you. Mm -hmm. If there's been some conflict in the past, I feel that you have stepped back and possibly did not make any initiation towards that person, towards this person that you're dealing with. And it feels like you stepping back kind of put this connection to a halt. There was, it was stagnant. It was pretty stagnant at some point. Mm -hmm. And I feel that even now, even now perhaps, um, things are not really moving the way you expected things to be instead of the usual, I don't know, give and take, um, you know, scheduling your routines and all. It feels like for now, things are not um, progressing well. Whereas in the past or, you know, there has been a time in this connection where you felt very beautiful, very pretty. You have the Empress here. so. It was thriving yeah, for a while. It could be that this relationship, this connection, whatever this is, really made you happy. yeah. But coming into this reading, I do see there's some form of negative, um, not negative vibe, but it's more like some entanglement, some, some things that needs to be ironed out, but you haven't ironed it out yet. Yeah. You haven't ironed it out yet. It could be that you stepped back and um, did other things, yeah? So if that first scenario is applicable for you, it could be that you went off and um, meet other people as well, yeah? Just to put in some form of um, competition here, yeah? Because you just want to be happy for now. You're not, um, you're not really open to being stuck in a rut here. But who else? Who does, right? The way I see it is in your current um, connection, things are not really progressing the way it should be or the way you want it to be. And I feel that you may have started just enjoying somewhere else or find um, happiness in places in with people that you feel could give you that sense of happiness cancer at least during this time frame at least during this time frame um and i think that would go in in at least in the next two weeks that's the way i see it with regards to your person though they are also not really talking to you not really communicating if they do it's very minimal. They are not really engaging in, in terms of expressing how they feel or extending an apology. There's nothing of that sort for now. This is also someone who is showing you that everything is good and dandy with them, without you. So, like I said, that, that vibe that I see here is you have the empress, right? Um, this could likely be in the past, how things were between the two of you and then I see that you have the devil here the connection is still there you're still pretty much connected with each other you still care there's still love there's still love there yes in fact but the way you deal with one another right now is not in a very loving it's not coming from a loving front that's the way I see it and there's a lot of hidden stories here that are not expressed yeah that are not expressed 
your person is also wanting to continue or uh, not really wanting as of this moment, but somebody who is trying to keep an eye on you to see what you're doing and to see whether are you have you truly depart uh, left the situation or have you replaced them or something like that. There's some form even of insecurity from this person right now. Especially if you have stepped out, especially if you have gone your own way and enjoyed your own time, yeah, without them. Yeah. But there is a lot of love here. It's just that the way you, you communicate sucks right now and the way you deal with one another, um, instead of talking things out, you are on your individual, you're leading your individual life on your own right now. And just trying to keep tabs with one another yeah I feel that that could also be um, some sort of a pull push kind of energy here somebody is doing that hence some mind games too but in a general sense I feel that maybe at this point in time you are just so tired of being stuck and since you are already hurt, since you are already disappointed, I think that what you're trying to do right this week, at least, is to just have fun somewhere else. Yeah, that's the way I see it. You still love this person, but um, as of the moment, since you can't do anything as much, you are enjoying um, your time wherever you can. Yeah, you cope with it the way you know how. And your person, too, is kind of showing you the same thing. They're showing you that everything is good and okay, but and that they may not no longer be interested with you. But I see that they still are. <laughs> they still want this with you. They haven't let you go, by the way. It's just that they also are not talking to you as much. Yeah, And they're showing you that, yeah, everything is good. Everything is cool, Cancer. Don't worry. I have everything <laughs> in place. But it's just a front. It's just a front. There is still love here. I just see kind of two kids not wanting to talk because of some reasons. <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to win here or somebody wants to get their, their message across. Okay, tell me more about this message for Cancer, please. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. So this right here seems like it's being tampered with insecurities and therefore not proper communication is done or can be done here at least for this time frame and that is causing a lot of um, repressed emotions, passive um, aggressiveness kind of energy which is not pretty helping for now so I feel that this could be a message for both of you then convince yourself not others how do you how, why do you feel that way why do you feel that the other person needs to approach you first why do you feel that the other person needs to give you that um, extend an apology for you first you gotta have that check to see you know just to just to see that your questions are valid and um your justifications are, are good too but here the message is what's important is knowing the truth about why you feel or why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways and one of the more effective ways actually is is communication right Okay. Because there is love here. I cannot stop saying that. I see that there is love here. It's just the way that these two people I see on the table, the way they deal with things, the way it's, um, it can be more effective, basically. Messages for cancer. Give us more messages for cancer in this connection, please. Cold heart. Yeah. Because you're not talking right now and love grows love story like i said there's so much love here in this connection it's just that now your whatever has happened perhaps has made you both wanting to detach wanting to have this cold front towards one another but love is there 
loyalty. If for some reason, Cancer, somebody here is suspecting that the other party is um, playing around and things like that, I feel that this message is kind of telling that that person has been loyal or something to you and lucky in love. You're similar to Pisces. You can check out the, the Pisces reading. I feel that you have similar vibe here and the perfect match. Exactly. So this is the part. There's love. There's loyalty, but you got to address this cold heart that you have right now for both of you. Find um, rather more effective ways in um, dealing with, communicate or communicating with one another, dealing with some insecurities, dealing with, with expectations, actually. Yeah, managing expectations. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Pisces, uh, Cancer. Like I said, check out the Pisces reading. That could also be helpful for you. And um, let me know how this resonates in the um, comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, you can check out your other placements. And you can check out my other readings for this week. Those could also be um, insightful. All right. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.